Hey everyone, Data Sciency here. Imagine this, you need to buy socks, book a ticket, but instead of doing it yourself, your browser just handles it for you. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, Opera just made it real. So meet Opera's AI browser co-operator. Opera's built-in AI that does not just assist you, it usually does things for you on the web. So no third-party tracking, no cloud processing, just fast, private automation right inside your browser. So let's check it out. So they say, we want to give you a preview of browser operator. So browser operator is an AI agent that can get stuff done for you in the Opera browser. So inside Opera browser, there's an AI engine that will do the stuff for you. So they are just testing it and it's the first time a browser can use AI to perform tasks on the web and allow you to do more meaningful things with your time instead. So browser operator is native to the browser, means it is inside the browser and it makes it easy for you to remain logged in to your website. Now this also makes it safe because login information isn't sent to any third party. So they say any login information that you give, it won't be sent to any third party. And this also additionally makes the process faster than a server-based solution. Now what's more, so browser operator, they does this in an efficient and intuitive experience where you are always in control. So I'll be showing you a little bit of this video in which they show you about Oprah's browser operator. So how it's doing the task. So I'll show you in the video now. So here you see there's a task. You can like write the prompt. For example, it's the socks for size 10 and then it will get started and then it opens Walmart and then it gets like these type of items are there and then you can check out. So for checking out, you have to do it by yourself. And they say the information would be private. And there's multi-step task also. Now, for example, if you want to buy two tickets to Newcastle's next Premier League in April at their home stadium, hospitality tickets are okay. But if regular tickets are not available, then you can get the hospitality tickets. And they say like where to set it, like merely midfield. So they're trying to find the information, ticket information for Premier League. And then it will check out. For checking out or like, you know, signing in or checking out, that you do it. But the AI just do it for you. Automates like finds the stuff for you. And such as even flights and hotels also. For example, if you want to find flight tickets from Oslo to Newcastle, UK. So in booking.com. So you can have a look at it. So you can see how it's like doing this. So this thing AI is doing it. And you can see here now if you need the hotel also. So you can check in and check out. So you can see some of the hotels. Which you can see that which type of hotels that you want. And it will check. And you can also cancel it also if you want. So you can just stop the process also. So here browser operator it takes AI out of the chatbot. And it integrates it directly into the browsing flow. Means in the browser, you see this AI out of the chatbot, which is an agent, and it will do the browsing for you. Now, this aligns with the broader role of the browser. Means here, the browser would be more powerful while you're online browsing the web and also to give you the tools to use your time more effectively. So instead of searching for hours, for a particular thing that you need, AI would do it for you. And if you look at the example from the feature preview video, if we say that buying socks is something most of us have to do at some point, but it's not something that we are particularly passionate about. So what if you could let Oprah's browser operator do that for you so that it could free up your time to meditate or do something else more meaningful to you while testing the browser operator? So these are the questions that they have been asking. Now, how does this work? Now, the main thing, how does this work? So browser operator, it understands your written instructions in natural language using your browser's client's local resources. And our AI Composer engine processes this information to complete tasks in the browser. Now, first, browser operator would understand your written instructions in natural language, such as English language. It would understand your task or your prompt that what instructions that you have written then what it will do 
the AI Composer engine would process this information to complete tasks in the browser. Now, browser operator will pause and ask you to take action whenever it needs you to fill in a form, confirm an order, or perform some other sensitive tasks. So for filling up a form, such as, you know, the login credentials or the sign up credentials at that time, browser operator will pause and confirming the order. For example, it has put the order in the cart, the item. So for confirming and to add the card details or any details, then browser operator will pause or some other sensitive task. So for sensitive task, browser operator will pause. And in this entire process is that you are in control and can take over at any moment from browser operator. While you can also review all the steps it took to perform the task you requested. So you can review all the steps also. You can have a look at the browser operator and review all the steps. And you can also take over at any moment from browser operator. It means you can cancel it or you can say like a pause it or something like that. What sets the browser operator apart? So why this browser operator? is different from other operator because OpenAI is also planning to make it. So why is it different from that? So this feature preview is a proof or concept in which we're taking advantage of our own expertise in making web browsers and working with AI in a way that matters to our users. So they are trying to make AI helpful for you. And we know how a web page is built and what it's meant to look like. So they brought AI into the own playing field and created browser operator. Now the approach to browser operator is that it focuses on empowering users while preserving their privacy. So they say that privacy would be preserved. So no data would be sent to other parties or third parties and they focus on empowering users. They want users to feel like they're empowered or something like that, as opposed to other solutions that are being tested out there because there are some more browsers also that we are testing out there, such as OpenAI also. So the concept of the AI agent in the browser, it does not rely on screenshots or video capture of the browsing session to understand what's happening in it. So here they're saying that we are not relying on screenshots or video capture of the browsing session to understand what's happening in it. And nor is it a version of the browser running in the cloud with your user credentials because this browser operator is in the Opera browser. So it runs inside your browser and it's on your device. And they say that we do not take screenshots or video capture the browsing session to understand what's happening in it, to understand the concept. So that's not their concept. So what do they do? It uses the DOM tree and browser layout data to get context, meaning that it uses a textual representation of the web. Okay, let me tell you what DOM tree is. Okay, DOM is document object manipulation. So for example, if I right click and I click on inspect, okay. So let me show you here. So this is the web page in which I'm telling you about Opera browser operator. So this whole thing, so this whole thing is the DOM tree. So in which there's the full page, which is called div. There's the article inside it. There's header, there's div class. There's, for example, there's text. There's, for example, you can see here, there's the logo. You can see here many things. So this thing is the DOM tree. So they take this to understand it, or you can say to train the AI agent inside the browser. So this is the technique or this is the approach that they use for training the browser operator for Opera. This solution is faster because browser operator, they don't need to see the screenshots or they have to look at the screen from the pixels and understand it. And another advantage is that the browser operator can access the whole page at once without the need of scrolling through effectively reducing the overhead and time needed to bring a task to completion. And also so the best part is that browser operator works in the same environment as you means in the browser it works. So it does not require a virtual machine or a server in the cloud. So that also means that your browser history, logins, cookie settings, etc., are being kept locally in your device in which the user's experience would be smooth and more private. So since operations are performed locally, so the users can shift between the operator control and user control. The operator control and user control means either you can give control to the browser operator or either you can take back the control and you can use it by yourself. So here they say that since the browser operator sees the web page data the same as the browser, 
that means that the pop up dialog such as cookie acceptance and verification dialogs it does not represent an obstacle to access the content of the page so this is not an obstacle to access the content of the page such as cookie acceptance you know those pop up dialogs so because browser operator is in your browser so when you access a website the pop up dialogs will pop up like such as cookie acceptance and verification dialogs so these things are not an obstacle for the browser operator to access the content of the page so they say ai is changing the way you browse so through several initiatives they have presented how ai can be integrated so they were the first ones to integrate ai powered feature into the browser and also develop their own built in browser ai so they have their own built in browser ai called araya so they have their own built in browser ai in it and if you see the user experience now there's the example like if you can if you want to buy and order things online like how you can use it so first you ask it like order matching socks and t-shirt size medium light colors and then what will happen there would be the task then they would say like it proceed to add the selected t-shirt to the court then it will search google then it will visit amazon then it will click size m then it would proceed so like that it will do it and there will be a window in which it will be showing you that what it is doing right now and when you give the browser operator a task in the form of a prompt it will work to complete it and occasionally may need your input to finish it so this is what can we consider as having a human in the loop so it's not completely on ai so it may sometimes need your input also to finish it for example please sign in to proceed with the purchase enter your email or phone number followed by your password i'm waiting for your action when ready press continue so you can do this so it would be waiting for you to proceed with the purchase or something like that and you can even cancel the task also that the browser operator is performing at any time by simply clicking the cancel button and when the whole task is complete you can say like done high five and it's polite to say thank you and because they say that the ai browser is private and secure so one more thing that you might be wondering that for example if I gave control to the AI browsing or there's browser operator in my browser then it might have my information such as card information or personal information so here they're saying that they say that there would be no keystrokes so it won't be recording any keystrokes no screenshots also will be sent to our server when you use it and so when browser operator it requests you to intervene or when you take over no information is being processed by the ai so here when browser operator it tells you to add your information such as card details or login information or something like that so at that time they say no information would be processed by the ai so at that time ai would be paused and it will only start resuming when you click the button resume then it will start reading the website again so here they say no information would be sent it's very private and it's like that regarding the availability is that browser operator is currently available as a preview of the upcoming functionality all right so opera just changed the game so no sketchy cloud ai no screen recording your every move just smart local ai automation now it's fast it's private and it's honestly kind of crazy so what do you think would you trust an ai to handle your web task let me know in the comments and hey, if you're into AI news, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.